to First One Germans 5 Minute Views. Celebrating Dutchie Podcast Day. Newer. Newer is my first ever Dutchie episode properly and I'm so glad that I get to do this in a five minute review because I just have a lot of things to say about it. I might miss some stuff out, but let's get started. David Tennant and Billy Piper are a match here, okay? I know I give them a hard time sometimes with the whole romance plot, but when these guys are on their toes, they can give a good performance, and they do. David's first scene, when he's walking in, is so powerful, and I still love that. I, the more I think about it, the more like, David, you legend. And Billy uh, has, obviously, a tough... She's kind of possessed by Cassandra. I will talk about her in a bit. But the fact that Rose has to deal with this person who's acting like a drama queen, yeah, because Cassandra is that drama queen, and she actually has to fight through all that stuff. And when she finds out where Cassandra is in the dot spot, she's not very happy. And I, and I like that. But with David, I like it when he's not very happy and wants her, wants his friend back. And I just love the whole thing. It's very interesting. But Zoe Menger as Cassandra, and the voices of everyone else, and the patient, I like that. It's just kind of camp, but I love it. And I just, it's so comedy gold, and like, there's so much stuff that. I feel the cat nuns and their secret is one of the most important things. I actually love the whole zombie thing, and the fact that, yes, it is Cassandra in Rose that kind of lets them out. Where she tries to do a bargain with the cat nun. And it's one of those, well, well, a chaotic. It's chaotic. And I love a chaotic scene. It's so fun, so silly, so calm. And then there's innocence, like that poor girl getting touched by one of them. Plus, uh, of course, the two um, nuns, uh, Sister Jack, played by Anjo and John. And, of course, there is a, the, the most intriguing matron cast. I just, I love them. I love them. They're just legends. But Never Time is the one I rather think stands out. I like the way that she does try to kill. And yes, she's obviously put in this situation. But I, I think, yeah, she's very interesting. Next, of course, I want to talk about the whole face of both stuff because that's a present. I like the fact that he, um, the doctor has to deal with face of both in her own death and he doesn't die there, which is a relief. Because I don't think it would have worked then. And the story works as a long term. So I'm glad they kept him for one final oh, story. Because Strun Roger is a character who is actually who can vocal his way through anything. And it's the first time I believe we've heard vocal because he didn't really talk much in End of the World. But I do feel he's a character that I really kind of enjoy. And the voice is amazing. Um, oh, there was an intriguing side character. For example, the Duke of Manhattan and Fro Clovis being what I like to call. Once again, camp. And I, camp, yeah, camp. And I love them. Uh, I also love the whole thing with the injuries being the solution. And that scene's quite fun. You've got that lift scene, which you see in a trailer. Uh, and it's just amazing. And it's the proper, it's a proper moment where a proper David Ten Doctor Divine moment, it suits him, it works for him. And it's a beautiful moment. And he has to see this. So, let's talk about who needs arms when we have claws? Oh, I love that. I saw that in the trailer. And, like, the it really stands out. And also, you know, that moment in the lift shaft stands out. And it makes it so unique in camp. I want to talk about that last scene. I find it sad that Cassandra dies in Chip's body. But, at least Rose is said. But it kind of suits the character. There's nowhere for Cassandra to go. And she accepts it in Chip's body. And it is kind of emotional. And that moment where she sees younger Cassandra. Yeah, love that. Um, yeah, it's just, I just think it's one of the best moments out there. Um, I love it. Newer for me, definitely something I still love. Newer is a great story with campness and beauty. And I'll always remember it for being the one that got me into that too. I hope you enjoyed this five minute review. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.
拜。Thank you for listening to the podcast. Subscribe to Fasman Jarvis and stay tuned for more.